history, you know, I, I touch on uh, a broad area of subjects, and certainly this was one that was absolutely directly aimed at local sheriffs, um, local police chiefs, fire chiefs. And the problem is that we can get that, you know, that one-way conversation from federal officials, and they, you know, they put something together in a memo, and it goes out to, you know, millions of people, and yet for uh, most officials, you don't get that chance to, to share that information on a broad scale. You know, now I've got over 8,000 followers, so I've got, you know, a much broader scope than a lot of individuals do. So I get the opportunity to put that opinion, and I think the thing that's, that's most rewarding is to hear back from so many people whose basic response is, thank you for saying what is it so many of us feel. Either we don't have an opportunity to say it, or we don't have the audience, or maybe we just don't word it in a way that it catches on. Um, obviously, this is an area of great interest to, the, to people around the nation. And so, you know, sometimes what I find that I do is I put a voice to, you know, to the everyday citizens out there and what things really seem to resonate or sometimes the timing of, of saying things that they believe as well they just haven't heard voiced uh, by officials and, and sometimes it's because the you know public officials are too concerned that they might offend somebody you know and for me uh, for better or worse that's that's not a, a concern of mine I'm simply trying to to call things as I see them and give my perspective on them I would be disappointed if people didn't uh, offer alternate opinions and that's you know I think that's the value of social media is that it gives everyday citizens a chance to speak uh, both ways with public officials so um, I don't get a chance to read a lot of the comments that I get but I do try to skim them and actually get some good conversations with folks and you know obviously there's some that just simply don't like you and that's the, <laughs> that's just the way life is but there's also uh, other folks out there whether they live in this area or not that provide feedback and alternate opinions but the overwhelming majority of the response has been very positive there so I don't expect to hear from them uh, and part of that is I understand the numbers. The other is there's a real frustration um, as I watch these debates and discussions and, and I see when the president puts panels together, um, typically they're not seeking out those with different opinions. Um, most of these boards and panels that put, have input, I look at the names that are on there and, and honestly most of them are people who you know either work under the administration or have like minds. So I think that's why we end up where we end up on these without good discussion. Uh, you know, in, in all honesty, uh, you know, anytime, and, and we see this every day, if you're going to be out on social media, you do need to pick and choose your words. And, and uh, trust me, there's a lot of editing. Uh, you know, my initial response personally to a lot of the things that, that come out to me are things that I, I certainly wouldn't post directly. Um, but you know, there's, there's times you really have to be careful because you realize that what you mean isn't always what comes out uh, on social media. So... You, know, you you really have to be careful how you you edit what you say and how you word it. But at the same time, the approach I've taken and I've taken this and you know just public safety duties as sheriff is do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Don't fear you know that someone's not going to like what you have to say. Um, I'm, I'm going to be you know just bluntly honest at times about it. And you know and sometimes even if it bothers people, it does get the conversation going. 